Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage and in this video we'll learn how to make the animated user interface fan speed control application in LabVIEW. Uh, first of all, as you can see in the background, I've got 12 images of different uh, frames of a fan uh, that we'll be integrating into our LabVIEW code. So first of all, to use the animation of the fan movement will use the ring control in which we'll be adding each of the respective images. Uh, since I've copied all of them into my front panel, now I have to separate them so that I won't make any mistake. We have to make sure that each of the frames are in proper order, otherwise uh, the animation will not look good. So I'm going to just arrange them in order so that it will be much more easier for me to place them inside the ring control. So now I've separated them. So first of all, I'll place the first one and add item after. Put the next one, add item after, place another one. And similarly, I will be putting all the different images in proper order. I got six more to go. That is the seventh one. Eighth one. Ninth one. And we have got only one more left. And I'm going to add the final one. And I don't need the these images now anymore. I've configured my ring control I'm gonna resize that one okay as you can see I've got now 12 different images set of images for the fan control speed control uh, animation so now we'll work on the block diagram to code our application now I have converted my ring control into an indicator now I have to write a code for that one. Since uh, the fan control will run continuously, I'm going to use while loop. And now I'm going to arrange nicely the user interface. So this will basically to stop my code. But now, uh, just like we got the rotational control for the fan speed, I'm gonna Add the dial control over there. As you can see, I've got uh, different values allocated going from large to maximum values. Okay, I'm going to just change the representation of that one. You can change that into any form you like. Just uh, test and try which one will suit better for your requirement. So I'm just like experimenting which one will look better. Okay. Now I don't want the decimal values, so what I'll do is I'm gonna select okay, so I'm gonna change uh, the representation into I32 so that like I'll have more like a discrete values rather rather than the double value okay once we have now got the speed control uh, next thing what we're going to do is we are going to add the weight for millisecond vi uh, if you have seen one of the previous vi's or one of the previous videos uh, in this youtube channel you'll know what is the weight for millisecond vi is it actually controls the speed of the loop. For example, it will accept the values in milliseconds. So whatever value we have selected has to be converted into the millisecond. That means I have to multiply that by 1000. So if I've selected the 5, 5 multiplied by 1000 will become 5000. That means the 5 seconds 
so that means uh, the while loop will execute only once every five seconds Uh, but the logic is, uh, it is going to be quite opposite because uh, it, uh, what we actually see in the real world is whenever we move towards the right, the fan has to move faster and when it moves towards the left, it has to uh, run very slower. So what we'll do is we'll just like uh, change the uh, values into our control so to do that okay once we have configured the speed now we have to control the animation to do that we'll use the divide and remainder uh, vi so we'll get the remainder caution and in this case we're only interested with the uh, remainder okay if we use a uh, code like this then uh, each image will be selected in each duration so it will move increase the speed at the moment uh, as you can see like uh, relatively it's going very slow So what we'll do is we'll go back to our block diagram okay we'll go into the block diagram and then reduce the uh, value over there rather than multiplying by thousand we'll reduce that duration so that the loop speed will get much more faster so as you can see whenever we are into the leftmost control the fan speed is much more slower but as we move towards the right the fan seems to start much more faster so this is how you can build the simulation for the fan speed control in LabVIEW please like share and comment in this video and do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos thank you very much